Hey everybody, Ann here. Still not feeling well. Um, no energy, congestion, but I'm taking medicine for it and I got some spray. Scratchy throat, you know, all that kind of stuff. A mild cough, nothing big. Um, I just so very much want to go out and get some wood. I, I at least have to fill the, the thingy up, the big red buffalo check thing. I need to go outside and do that, so I'm going to wait till it comes up. <laughs> Puppies. I need to, I didn't get that cedar cut up. I didn't get it cut up. Um, I don't know how warm it's going to be today. I got a fire going. I already picked up a bunch of eggs. Fed some to Papa and the puppies. Yes, the chickens will be getting some as well. Um, oh, somebody asked how the chickens are doing in the cold. They're doing fine. <laughs> They're doing fine. Use the deep litter method, and as the as it composts, it creates heat. So the chickens are doing fine. Um, it stays warm in this cabin. I mean, when I get up in the morning, of course, it's cold. But I start a fire, and it does just fine. Um, so today, I'm going to manage to go out and bring some more wood inside. I get some more kindling. I mean, I've been burning so much wood, and I have to. So, I'm going to take another day of rest, and... Um, cut some wood maybe tomorrow I don't think I'm gonna get it done today I just need to just rest uh, what was I gonna say gosh I can't even think um, I'm just tired I've been sleeping good though thankfully I've been sleeping really well um, <laughs> I don't know what else I can say you guys no rest for the wicked I gotta go gather me some wood oh, man I gotta cut that up. I feel awful just leaving it stay here. Uh, well, let me get some wood and then if I feel like it, maybe I can do that. You know what? First, my neighbors just texted me. They hatched out four new baby chicks with that incubator that I've lent them. And they want to know if a heat lamp was enough. Or if I should, or if they should use this little mat. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I don't think they need it. But I'm going to clean it up anyhow just in case they need it. Because it is pretty cold. So, yeah, let me do that first. First I need to test it and make sure it still works. Because it's been sitting out in this shed. So let me get this thing kind of cranked up here. I need to get it started for a little bit here anyhow. Alright, come on. <laughs> Oh, did I do this? Yeah. God. That's going to have to do it for now. Yeah, I'm going to take this inside, take this over to the neighbors, and then see if I got any eggs. I need energy. <laughs> You know what? Getting up and moving around, I feel better. It's only 11:13 a.m. I already got three. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a cocoa egg. This. No, oh, no, could be Miss Pris. Could be. Could be Roxy. This is Beauty. I know because I saw her in, in here earlier. So let me go check the Easter eggers now. Oh, well, somebody's sitting on the nest, so I imagine we're going to get at least one egg. I'm be getting, I'm getting between one and two eggs a day, so, uh, yeah, awesome. I'll come back later. Look at it. That's Mama. So I'm going to get to see what kind of egg Mama lays. So far, I've not been able to determine who's laying what, but this helps. Look at that wood pile. It is shrinking. I've <laughs> used so much wood. I mean, I still got the stuff in the tent, but, yep, um, the cedar is great. It's better than all this other stuff. All this other stuff is very, very soft, so it burns quickly. Um, so, you know what? I don't care how crappy I feel. I have got to saw up some of this wood. I've got to do it. Got all the cedar cut up. I can't believe I did it. I also got that other one cut up that I was going to try and use for trim. Cut some smaller pieces up. I'll probably uh, 
throw a few more from that pile onto here, take it inside, take a rest, but, uh, yeah, the cedar in that uh, little wagon there is actually drier than this, so, um, I'm gonna leave this open for the rest of the day, hopefully I'll remember to come back out and, uh, cover it up, uh, but yeah, it's dwindling already, it's okay, I'll just keep collecting more. Look at that, Patsy, Waldo, and Rocky too. I just love them. <laughs> yeah, those two roosters look pretty cozy. Uh, I don't think that'll last long. I don't know. Maybe one of them isn't a rooster. Who knows? Yep, Mama did end up laying an egg. I don't know if this is her first or similar to the other ones, but the shape is kind of pointy. Pretty shade of green. Awesome. Thank you, Mama. Got plenty of wood inside, and I've got on a beautiful pot of split green pea and ham soup. I've already put the first round of beans in, and they've cooked down pretty well. That's going to make it a nice thick soup. And I've just put another round of split peas in. And I'm going to let them cook until they're just kind of soft, and then I'm going to eat it up. Oh, this is going to be so good, you guys. Well, it's ready to eat, and I cannot wait. I've got plenty. I'm going to keep it on the wood-burning stove. Just let it stay warm. Eat off it all day. So let's take a little, a little bite of this. Let's see if I can do it without spilling. Mm-hmm. It's good. Um, that ham has a lot of flavor, so I didn't have to add any salt or anything, any bouillon to it. I did add some pepper, but, um, I went ahead and added some more water and some more beans, because I actually let this cook a little bit too long, so all the beans got really soft, but it's still very tasty. I am starting to feel better, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, uh, very, very cold day today going to be very, very cold tomorrow, so I'm just going to stay warm, and I'm not feeling as congested. I got up and moved around, and uh, that worked wonders for me, so anyhow, I'm just going to sit here and eat this soup after it cools off a little bit, and um, play with my puppies. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.